Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Last Epoch. Game director, CEO, co-founder, the person that started Last Epoch, Judd, just dropped a bomb on all of us. This just went out. Patch 1.2 timeline, 1-1 one, one event details, and new cycle poll. We now have a clear direction for the future, what is coming in the event, and when we are getting the next cycle. And I'm not going to lie, I have emotions pulling me this way, and I have emotions pulling me that way. I'm going to do my best, just one take, no edits, and try and explain how I am feeling in this moment, okay? But we're just going to start by doing some reading. Greetings, travelers! Over the last week, we have been reading and discussing your feedback about our announced plans for cycle event uh, event cycle launching on September 19th and Last Epoch's next large update targets. We want to continue this discussion with you today and get your feedback directly. We are holding a poll for the next 48 hours regarding our cycle event and will act in accordance to your input. We think the details of this poll are important for making an informed decision, but we want to make sure that the poll doesn't get lost in the mix, which likely it will because when we read through this, you're going to see that it's not as important as this announcement and we'll talk about this announcement as well as always we are working closely with the community feedback to identify the best path forward for the future updates of last epoch and it's clear that the community is eager for key improvements expanded end game content of course better onboarding for new players dungeon improvements continued performance optimizations and of course more balance and variety we want this with every single action rpg so yes, of course, this is what we are looking for. And here is the like nuclear blast paragraph. Are you ready for this? With this in mind, and after closely monitoring the ARPG landscape for later this year, they are, this, this has to do with D4 DLC Vessels of Hatred October 8th and PoE2 November 15th ARPG landscape later this year. We've decided to adjust our development priorities and timelines. Instead of focusing on some of the original planned content for 1.2, we will prioritize delivering on the key improvements listed above. To achieve this, we'll be moving much of the content originally planned for 1.3 into patch 1.2 and deliver a large rescoped patch in Q1 of 2025. <sighs> We acknowledge that the irregular cycle duration is not ideal and aim for more consistent cycle cadence going forward, which has been said multiple times in the past. However, we believe that prioritizing these high demand updates will provide more value than adhering to a strict schedule at that stage. That said, we are going to get some great updates out to you earlier with the up and coming 1.1 event, and we believe a cycle reset coinciding with the release date may be favorable to our player base. Now, before we go into this 1.2 announcement, I pulled up the roadmap, all right? Which by the way, EHG, I'm guessing you're probably working on this now. The sooner the better on getting out a new roadmap so that we have the most relevant or the most uh, up-to-date information for the community, okay? Obviously, we are in the middle now, or I guess not even in the middle of cycle 1.1, and they're going to be combining 1.2 and 1.3. So Primal Hunt Endgame Events, Chapter 10, Primordial Uniques, Monolith of Fate Expansion, Unique False Echoes, and New Procedural Side Zones, 1, 2, and 1, 3 will be combined, okay? So that actually sounds really good. I would have been terribly upset. I would have been very upset if literally cycle three just got pushed to January, February, March without like them basically saying, hey, we're going to it's going to take double the time, but we're going to give you double the cycle. OK, I, I can get behind that. I understand uh, cycle two didn't have uh, the greatest of reception. You want to take the community feedback. You want to fix it, and not only are you going to fix it, you're going to give us more. We're just going to have to wait. Okay, I I can get behind that. Uh, this being my favorite game and always craving more content, it makes me sad that I'm going to have to wait over six months, but at least when I get that update, it's going to be huge, all right? I have to talk about this again, and I'm going to continue to talk about it because it is my number one. 
And it's different for me as a content creator, as a main content creator for Last Epoch, okay? Uh, and I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record. This saying 1.2 announcement. It should say cycle three announcement. Or even better, it should say season three announcement. Making over 700 YouTube videos. Streaming Last Epoch three to five days a week for three years. I, I cannot tell you how big of a miss this is. And I really mean it. Like, I say this with as much love and respect as I possibly can. I'm not an expert marketer, okay? My degree is not in marketing. It's in business management. That being said, I do follow Torchlight and PoE and Diablo and Grim Dawn community events and Undecember and Hero Siege and Inquisitor Martyr and all of these live service games. And I am telling you that one, nobody knows what a cycle is and it is not a whole number. So if you go up to a friend and be like, hey, Last Epoch's dropping cycle 1.2, I would guess that less than 1% of the action RPG community actually knows what that means. And you have to be like in the trenches for Ellie to understand that. If you said Last Epoch is dropping cycle or uh, season three, they will immediately click on and be like, oh, what's coming? What's new? When it's not a whole number, people think it's like a bug fixing or it's just a patch, maybe a little bit of rebalance. And just to hit this point one more time, I'm telling you from experience, my moderators on Twitch, as we are leading up to a large update, cycle one and cycle two, we had to put like an automated message on the screen and an automated message in the chat because I had to explain myself 50 times. Oh, I had to re-explain it over and over and over again because nobody understands what cycle 1.1 is, okay? EHG, I've already, I've already given this feedback. I just cannot stress enough that changing cycle 1.2 to season three, just that small little change would do so much for the game. I'm sorry, would do so much for marketing and uh, letting people know it's coming. All right, I've, I've made my point. Uh, let's talk about the Imperial Uprising event, and then we'll take a look at this poll. Now, that being said, switching gears, Action RPG, my Discord, 4,200 members, announcing in the next 48 hours, I am going to be dropping a brand new community event, okay? So anybody that plans on playing Last Epoch for the Imperial Uprising event, we're going to have a brand new community event for LE. It is going to be a lot of fun. Make sure you join the Discord. Uh, details are coming soon. On September 19th, we're releasing some exciting updates that based on the feedback we've received from the poll, may or may not include a fresh start on the standard environment. To remind you of some of the updates coming next week, event modifiers, new favor gain bonus, community requested, reputation gain bonus, gold drop rate bonus, random unique drop rate bonus, additional undead enemy spawns in monoliths, 20 plus new shrine types, additional loot lizards, which are treasure goblins, Dungeon quality of life, huge stash tab, and they put a new word in here, affinity. Unbelievable. Merchants Guild search improvements, undead enemy updates, and more. If you don't know what stash tab affinity is, this is the only reason why PoE still has a better stash than last epoch, which is about to change. This basically means that you could set a folder, just a small example, like boots, exalted boots. And then when you're interacting with your stash, if you control right click on a pair of exalted boots, it automatically goes into that tab. So now you no longer actually have to click through your stuff unless you need to take something out. It is absolutely huge for organization. We'll be sharing the details of the content coming in this cycle event, the Imperial Uprising on Friday the 13th. We would love to hear from you regarding the up and coming cycle event plans and your original announcement of doing a cycle refresh by participating in this poll. Thanks again for supporting the support of Last Epoch, for taking the time to give your feedback and for helping make this game the best it can be. Keep an eye out for some additional polls and surveys coming out so your voice can be heard for the future development. 
Our team is excited and working more efficiently and better than ever to get the next big updates for Last Epoch in your heads. Judd Kobler, Game Director, Last Epoch. Now, when you go over to the poll, and by the way, my email is public. Every time I go over a poll, people are like, you showed your email. It's public. It's no big deal. Here's the two questions. With the knowledge that 1.2 cycle three is coming around Q1 2025, and this is the only window during cycle two in which a cycle refresh can occur, do you support a cycle refresh occurring with this event? I said, yes. If you're against doing a cycle refresh, what would be the biggest detractor from you? Legacy makes my character feel irrelevant. Once they're legacy, I just don't want to play them anymore. And I actually do understand this. Uh, I play a ton of legacy characters, but the reason why that is, is because people still, I see it on Discord, I see it on the forums, I see it on Reddit that, oh, well, legacy doesn't have Harbingers and legacy doesn't have the Nemesis system and legacy doesn't have Aberroth. Again, with the exception of the latter, and the economy down to the piece of code legacy and cycle are identical so for example if you let's just say are a cof player on cycle and ehg told you nothing and you just log into your character and it was moved from cycle to legacy you wouldn't even know you literally wouldn't even notice it because the games are identical so just I feel like anybody that marks this legacy makes my fair character feel irrelevant normally comes from you don't realize that the games are the same. I don't like having to merge or rework my legacy stash tab to continue migrating my character. That's a real this this needs to be done better. I agree with that. I don't want to split from my friends who want to restart in cycle. I understand that. I want more time to complete the one one existing cycle leaderboards. No one's going to click that. I was planning on having more time to finish my characters while in this environment. The environments are the same. No detractors in favor of a cycle refresh. So that is what I am going to select. And um, I really hope that EHG does the refresh. The people that are still playing last epoch right now, you know, are probably the diehards of the people that really, really love the game, like myself. So having something fresh and new to do, being able to get a fresh leaderboard, being able to wipe out the economy because of the gold dupes, being able to race and do uh, hunt some loot lizards and see what this event's about on the 17th, I think that would breathe some life into the cycle. And if you don't do a refresh, I, I think that that won't happen again that is just my opinion now i will say man this is one take on this video is that um i was really hoping there's another question i want ehg to do as much as as much as they have ready for the cycle refresh knowing that this is going to be a seven eight you know six seven month cycle any updates to non-use skills any updates to non-used items, literally anything you have in the pipe right now that is ready to go that you are saving for cycle should come right now. If it's uh, this skills never used or literally any balance, I'm not saying you have to nerf existing builds, but anything you have that would add a change, even like a singular new unique or a couple uniques, right? Like that's, I feel like that's, Easy wins. Anything you can throw at this existing event that would give us something new, do it. All right. I've given uh, that. That's my feeling right now. I am very confident and excited for the future of Last Epoch. I know they are making the best decisions they can with the information that they have. I've spent time with them in real life. I've worked with them for five or six years. They are an awesome studio, an awesome group of developers, and they truly love this genre. They are they set out as a small team on Reddit, unpaid, and now they are in conversations with Diablo and PoE. Anytime I'm streaming, people are like, dude, Last Epoch will never be as good as PoE or Diablo. And I'd be like, the fact that you are saying that, they've already won. That's already the fact that you're comparing them 
to the juggernauts of the industry. That alone makes me happy. And, uh, you know, just fingers crossed for a bright future. And that's the video. That's all I've got to say. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Again, check out the Discord uh, for the new event coming on September 19th. I appreciate all your guys' feedback. So I promise that I will read all the comments on this video. And just like give this feedback to me and DHG. Are you happy with this announcement? Best way to support is always Patreon. First link in the description. I'm done. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron. Out.